guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing really, really well. I can't believe we're at this point in my pregnancy where I'm gonna film my what's in my hospital bag video. My hospital bag is packed and I'm almost full term in this pregnancy. I'm 36 and a bit, no, I'm 37 weeks pregnant in two days. So 37 weeks pregnant it means Things are about to get crazy in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, I wanted to film my What's My Hospital Bag video for the second time. If you are new here, I have already done a What's In My Hospital Bag video in 2020 from my first pregnancy and this is my second pregnancy. So if you like that kind of content and you wanna see the difference between what was in my hospital bag first time versus second time, then definitely go back and watch that video. It's one of my most watched videos on my channel and I look very different. I actually re-watched that video recently. I look a lot younger, even though it was only three years ago or like two and a half years ago and my hair is very different as well so anyway I feel like I've grown into myself I feel like my hospital bags are very similar um, I've got two hospital bags one for baby one for myself similar to what I did last time in terms of the amount that I've packed I've got a suitcase for myself like a, ah, a carry-on <laughs> and then actually um a, oh my gosh this is not going very well and then a little bag like this for baby it's actually very similar to what I had before and I was also really really kindly gifted the bags from um, something a bit different so I've used these bags for the past three years and um, they do loads of little like gift sets and stuff for expectant mums and um, brides and bridesmaids and things like that and I've used all of them over the past three years so I feel like I've grown with this company um, so something a bit different if you are looking for like ready-made hospital bags and like nice gifts for baby showers and things like that definitely check out the website and I'll link them down below but yeah this is the baby's bag and then this is my bag so yeah I think let's just crack on let's get into it and see what I've packed this time for my hospital bag. I've just taken a little video on my phone which will pop up on the screen of what my bag looks like as it's packed. And then I'm just gonna go through all the individual bags now. So I've got all these little um, like bag dividers, what they're called. Packing cubes is what they're called. Some of them are cubes, some of them are more bags. Um, but I got these from AliExpress actually, which I'll link down below. Um, I saw my friend Leone who used these in her hospital bag and I like the look of them. So I used her link to buy them as well for my hospital bag and I'm definitely going to use them for like ho um, holidays and things like that in the future so yeah I really liked that these were all packed individually um, and I've done the same in baby's bag. Last time around I packed and I used sandwich bags and that was just as good so sandwich bags, packing cubes, anything really like this to like have everything individually packed into like sort of categories I feel like it just makes my brain happy but this bag is sort of my pre- like giving birth bag. So the things I'm gonna need in hospital whilst I'm in labor, I guess, or like just prior to that. So firstly, I've got my AirPods. Guys, if you have not got AirPods and you've got like a birthday coming up or like a big thing coming up that you would be able to like justify splurging on some AirPods, I would highly recommend. I have used nothing more in the past year than these and I just love them so much. Obviously they're wireless, so much easier than having wires everywhere, but any kind of headphones in labour, 100% worth it. I also got my eye mask because um, when I was in hospital last time it was really, really bright and I did try and get some sleep in between like contractions when they kind of went and came and all that kind of stuff. So an eye mask, even if that's for afterwards, like is really bright in those hospitals and you can kind of just try and grab any sleep you can with these. So grabbed that. I also got this mini fan which is so good and so powerful. It's from Amazon and it has like three different settings and it is really really nice and considering it's going to be June when I give birth hopefully then um, I thought it would be nice to have something like that and just have access to something that's going to cool me down because I do get like hot flushes at the moment. I don't know if anyone else does in there like pregnancy and stuff. Um, and then I've got a couple of aromatherapy things. So I've got some clary sage essential oils here, um, which I know is good for labor. It definitely works this time. This is actually the same bottle that I used with George and it's like half empty. Um, so hopefully I can <laughs> use the other half and yeah, that'll be my clary sage days over. And then I also have this little roller ball, which is a labor, um, labor roller ball from my expert midwife, which I grabbed. And it's supposed to like calm you and you can have it on it does smell really really nice um like pop it on like your wrists and it's just like a nice calming 
really nice scent and stuff like that. It's nice to have some some nice stuff, right? Whether or not you use them, I feel like in early labour that might be a nice thing to do in like proper active labour. I don't know if you're going to be like reaching for these, but it's a nice thing to have and they're really, really small, don't take up much space. So that's all good. I have a charger for my phone, which is an extra long cable. I bought these on Amazon, I got two. Absolute must because you don't know where the like you don't know where the sockets are going to be so an extra extra long one and I also have one for my fan because it's a rechargeable fan and then I just have one of these plugs which is one with a few different USB ports in it I'm just going to have that and then Ash can use that for a charger as well so just got one plug and like loads of different cables so yeah that is everything that was in my like pre labor bag nothing too excessive I don't think um for me I don't think I'm going to need that map like much stuff i know myself quite well and i'm quite a minimalist when it comes to like extra stuff if that makes sense another thing that i put in that category is definitely a water bottle this is my favorite insulated water bottle i love it so much this is from one green bottle i'll link it down below it's perfect it's like 20 pounds but it's like it's just the best bottle ever i love how it looks i love how it feels i love how the water tastes in it because it's always nice and cool so yeah i'm gonna be downing all of the water during labor i can just tell like I'm a water fiend this pregnancy guys. Next bag is the toiletries bag. So this is all of the toiletries that I'm taking in my hospital bag. So how are we gonna do this? Right, so first off we have a Tangle Teaser hairbrush, my favorite kind of brush um, ever. <laughs> and Tangle Teasers are nice and small, which I thought was really good for travel. I've got some deodorant, little roll on, just nice and easy. So you're not spraying it everywhere, but you do feel nice and fresh. I've also got some hand cream. This is the best hand cream ever. Um, it's the Walida Skin Food. I love this stuff. It's the nicest. Like, it's really, really rich. And I love that. And I've got really dry hands, like, all the time. So, yeah, hand cream. And I'm also going to be able to, like, put that on my elbows and, like, just, you know, after a shower, I just... It makes me feel nice to be moisturised. And it's a nice, small little bottle for my bag and I've just got a little bag of like toiletries for my actual shower and like face washing and all that kind of stuff I really like feeling clean and I think a lot of us do um and actually I've got loads of like minis from various like trips and also like various like gift boxes and stuff so I've got a few washcloths here and that's gonna be for my face and like obviously if I have a shower and stuff like that after I can just use those I can throw them away afterwards honestly they're from home bargains dirt cheap um so yeah that's nice and easy and then I've got a load of toiletries some of these might seem a bit extra because they're Elemis products but um they were all like gifts and stuff like that you know the ones that you get in like little gift sets that you never think you're going to use I'm going to put them in my hospital bag why not so I've got the pro collagen cleansing balm just in case I have any makeup on or just like general sweat and stuff I can do a double cleanse in hospital and feel bougie like why not if I'm going to feel good about myself why not use something like that so I've got pro collagen cleansing balm I've also got a little exfoliator little mini from Elemis as well if I'm there of an evening or staying overnight and I'm doing like an evening skincare routine it would be remiss of me to not take my skin and me daily doser I use it all the time it's personalized for my skin and stuff so it's like part of my routine and I just it would just feel weird to not use it so yeah I've got that as well um and I'll definitely just feel a little bit better about myself if I'm doing everything that I would normally do at home and I've also got like a little cream little evening cream and then I've also got a hydro mist which I thought would be actually quite nice in labor as well if you want like a mist or whatever or even just in the morning like just to make yourself kind of feel hydrated you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom with baby and all that kind of stuff you can just like spray this on yourself and just feel a bit more like hydrated and alive i've even got a little face oil again to feel nice and hydrated and then i've also got a little mini shower gel from our honeymoon <laughs> that i took from a hotel um that i just thought i would pop in so yeah i definitely have gone quite bougie with some of the skincare and like toiletry stuff but i just think like I know I will feel really nice if I do all of this and they're all so small that actually I can take all of this and it's not like going really mad because they're all like little minis that came from like Christmas sets or stolen from honeymoon destinations that it's just going to be nice to have that. Some sliders for the shower. Nice and comfy. These are really, really wide fit as well. I had really like swollen feet in pregnancy and um, like after birth and stuff with George so um, I just wanted some like wide feet nice sliders for the shower so yeah just for like hygiene and comfort really um so yeah i'm popping those in my hospital bag as well and then in this little zip in here i have other bits like um obviously a toothbrush 
my bamboo toothbrush and toothpaste, little minis, um, and then, yeah, it's like a little bamboo toothbrush, which is a really nice soft bristle because my teeth are bleeding, my gums are bleeding constantly at the moment, and I'm just, that's a pregnancy thing, I think, but yeah, little toothbrush, toothpaste. I've also got some uh, nipple balm, nipple cream stuff, um, yeah, apparently this is a really good lip balm as well as a nipple cream, someone told me. My friend who used to breastfeed um, then started using this as a, a lip balm or a lip, um, like lip gloss kind of thing, um, which I thought was quite funny. I also have some paracetamol, um, which is in my toiletries bag. I might put that in my labour bag um, because, yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I feel like maybe that's when I'm going to need it in like early labour. Lots of hairbands because... Well, I don't even have to explain. Hairbands for hair out of face, perfect. And then also some lip balm. I know some people might want to put makeup and stuff in their like toiletry bags to make them feel like a bit more put together or whatever. But I know that my favourite thing is once I have like gone through some sort of experience, whether it's I've got a hangover or I've just given birth or like anything like that, I just want to feel clean and like all of this stuff is going to help me get there, especially all the skincare stuff. But yeah, I'm definitely really happy with all the stuff that I've been able to pack this time around. Another absolute essential bag is like my postpartum, how would I say, bum bag? Yeah, maybe this is like my bum bag. Basically, this is the toilet bag. Like, this is going to the toilet bag. <laughs> um, so let's unzip it and see what I've packed. I guess like my postpartum recovery bits. So I have got first... I've got these disposable disposable underwear things. These are from Freedom Mums. So I've got four of those. Um, hopefully I won't need four of them. Um, but yeah, I've got all of those here. These are like really, really nice and big, super comfortable, disposable, so you can literally just throw them away straight after using them. To go on top of that, I have the Boots Maternity Pads. I've got just a pack of 10 of those. These are highly rated. I used these last time love them also for down there inside my pad and everything i've got the freedom mum witch hazel um perineal pads they're like pant pad liners for yeah i mean for down there you know what they are guys witch hazel is really really renowned for soothing and like helping you know recovery and stuff like that i had like a couple of stitches last time it was all very like superficial grazing and like a couple of stitches but i used some sort of form of witch hazel last time so i definitely wanted to get them again and freedom mum do like a big pack of postpartum recovery kit stuff on amazon which i'll link down below it's perfect i've got a load of stuff from there and i've got a load of stuff for like when i'm back at home as well um but these are just bits that i'm taking in my hospital bag i also got the um witch hazel foam from them so this is basically how it works you've got your disposable underwear then you line a pad on top and then you pop a witch hazel liner on there then you spray with some perineal um, foam, which is also witch hazel. And then you're really, really nice and soothed on there. They also have some sort of version of my expert midwife spritz for bits. They have a freedom mum version, but I'm using the expert midwife one just because I know that this is really, really good and spritz for bits, just, I love the name. Um, and that's again for like spraying down there just to soothe that area. Just, I'm very, very, I feel prepared in this area. But before you do any of that and you're going for a wee for the first time, second time, third time, I've got this perineal bottle, which you pop warm water in, you spray all over to dilute your pee and it doesn't sting as much as it would if it was like concentrated wee that you would have without spraying water on. So yeah, that is an absolute must. This is the same one that I used when I was in hospital for George. I kept it all these years. So yeah, three years later, I'm gonna be using it again and then I'm going to dispose of it because I don't think I'm gonna be having any more babies after this, especially after looking at all this thinking, why am I doing this? Um, but yeah, so that's everything I think in there. Oh, the other two bits I've got are just some nipple balm, which I've actually also got in my other ones so i've got two lots of nipple balms and then i've also got some breast pads however i don't think my milk's going to come in whilst i'm in hospital because it probably doesn't come in until like day two day three um and hopefully i won't be in hospital for that long but i've got a few just in case i do need them but yeah that's everything that i'm packing in my postpartum recovery kit for the hospital bag i have got a few extra bits for when i'm at home but maybe i'll do like a video about that when i am like actually out of the postpartum days but if you are looking for like a full-on postpartum recovery kit i would highly recommend the freedom mum postpartum recovery kits on Amazon and I'll link that specifically down below. Next up, let's talk snacks. 
So the snacks that I've packed this time around are very similar to the ones I packed first time around because they worked so well. And I haven't changed much in my um, like tastes. So my first one are two raspberry isotonic Lucozade drinks. These are my like original favourite drink ever, especially for getting you through a tough day. <laughs> so whether that's you're dehydrated, your sugar levels are low, um, you're hungover or you're giving birth. This is my drink, but don't come near me with an orange one. But you can throw about 10 of the raspberry ones at me and I'd be buzzing. So yeah, I'm I've got two of those. I've already drank the other two that came in the pack. <laughs> um, and then I've also got, right, so what have I got? I've got um, a load of these Nutri-Grain bars because these have been my favourite throughout my pregnancy and they're really tasty. So these are the Kellogg's Nutri-Grain, like the soft ones. These are the raisin ones. They taste really nice um, because they've got like cinnamon in, raisins. They just like, it just tastes like really warming and delicious. And they're really filling and like, I feel like a good, a good little snack to get you through labour. Then I had to get some of my Henry Hippos, which are the little knockoff version of um, Percy Pigs. I did have a pack of Percy Pigs, but I've ate those. Um, so I've got my Henry Hippos as a very close second. And then I randomly saw this in Lidl um, for like 45p because it's obviously not Christmas time, but I do love a chocolate orange. So I got a chocolate orange bar as well. And that's everything. I don't have anything savory. I'm very much a sweet girl at the moment. And those are probably like my favorite snacks at the moment. And like I said, you can just go to the shops and stuff in the hospital um, now. Like you just couldn't do that during COVID. Like they just wouldn't let you go in and out just willy nilly. And the hospital that I'm planning to give birth at this time, which is obviously different, is a much bigger hospital. Um, so you, there's just loads. There's loads that you can get. You get there's actually an MS that I could get Percy Pigs from if I absolutely wanted to. I would absolutely love to know what your like amazing snacks were during labor, if you have given birth before or what you're planning on having during labor because they're like, I feel very confident about my snack choices, I'm not gonna lie, but that's personal to me. Anyway, the last thing in my hospital bag are clothes. So this is literally everything from underwear to um, like little nighties to my going home outfit. So I'll pop this out and then let's go through it. First up, I've just got a couple of these little sports bras from Primark. These are my favorite things ever during this pregnancy, postpartum, they're just brilliant. So these little sports bras, they're like seamless, really, really comfortable. And I've just literally worn them every single day. I've got another one on from this pack today. Like I just, I just love it. Um, so yeah, these are just from Primark. I think they're a pack of three for maybe eight pounds, something like that. Um, yeah, absolutely love them. I'll probably be wearing one when I go in. And then I've got two here just in case like I need that many i probably don't but then when i'm in labor i thought i would wear well either nothing to be honest i didn't wear anything last time i was actually in labor um but for like the early stages of labor um and if you're getting like monitored or anything's you know you have to get your waters popped or anything like that i've got like a long line it's actually a top from primark but i kind of see it as a bit of a nighty because it hasn't you know it's access accessible <laughs> um and yeah i've been wearing this in the night time as well here and I quite like it. So just a nice flowy oversized long line top, but equally it can be used like as a nighty. I then got some PJs for when I'm in hospital. So like nice and black, which is perfect for the postpartum days, a little shorts pajama set. And this has got a button down top, which is perfect if I am planning to breastfeed. And I can just literally have, if I wanted to, I probably won't even want this to be honest, but I could probably just have one of these seamless bras on um this and then my shorts or probably just nothing underneath and then you can just breastfeed nice and easily this is also from primark really lovely set and it kind of gives me victoria's secret vibes um but yeah primark are smashing it with the pajamas and the underwear and stuff at the moment like literally that's where everything that i've got is from along with my disposable underwear i've also got some nice lovely large underwear <laughs> these are the seamless ones from primarni as well um just in case i wanted to I don't know. These they, they feel quite nice on the skin and stuff. Um, these are the same material as the ones that um, I've been wearing like throughout my pregnancy, but obviously they're going to be big enough to hold the pad and all the other stuff that I'm putting in the pad as well. So I think these are a good shout for 
coming home in my nice underwear i've got three pairs of those i don't really know why i need three pairs but they fit in my bag so why not and then finally in my clothes bag i've got my coming home outfit which i'm actually really excited about so last time i didn't really give this much thought at all and it was actually fine but this time i wanted to kind of get myself something that i'd feel nice in after giving birth so I have actually already tried this one and I'll show you what it looks like already. Basically like this black linen set from H&M that I've been seeing lots of people wearing like this kind of thing and I just really liked it and I thought I'm definitely going to wear this postpartum anyway so I might as well buy it and then I can feel good in it coming home from the hospital. So I've got this black shirt, linen shirt, which is really, really cute, really lightweight and really like airy and flowy and stuff and also these black linen trousers i don't know if they're actually linen or like fake linen or whatever but they're really really comfortable and i love them now like in terms of the comfort levels and i've obviously got like a big bump so i will still have like a six month pregnant belly like at that point obviously giving but having given birth like the day before or that day so i know these trousers are going to be really comfortable really flowy and then i'm just gonna wear these with my Birkenstocks, which I'm 100% going to be going into hospital in. If I'm just a little bit cold, I don't know what the weather's going to do because, yes, it's June, but who knows with this with this weather. So I've also just got like a little vest top for underneath if I needed it. Um, but yeah, that is everything in my hospital bag. The other things that I definitely need to have in my hospital bag, by the way, are my hospital notes, which are downstairs because I'm going to a scan a little bit later today. And then also some money for the car park if my car park doesn't take card which mine does um but last time in the hospital that i gave birth in last time they didn't take card so we needed to take loads of change in like a little sandwich bag so just obviously if you are giving birth in hospital that doesn't take card definitely take loads and loads of change because you don't know how long you're going to be there but anyway moving on to baby's bag this is everything that i have packed for her i've also separated her bits into separate bags however some of them are actually not the same kind of bags that i had before this is actually a bag that came in one of my recent like cup sheet orders i know a lot of brands use these like slightly like frosted um bags now and i just really like them for like packing things so um let's start with clothes because that's just at the top of my bag so i have packed four white vests in a newborn size and then i've also packed five baby grows in newborn size and the reason i've packed newborn size uh, instead of like up to first size is because i don't think this baby is going to be that big um i think they're going to be medium size <laughs> they're measuring on the 50th centile george is quite small my bump isn't that big I've not been told that she's particularly large, um, so I think she'll definitely fit into newborn size. Four baby grows and four vests, and then I've also got another baby grow, which is her coming home outfit. The reason this is her coming home outfit and I really want her to wear this is because it's got oranges all over it. Um, and George's favourite fruit at the moment, favourite fruit, favourite snack, favourite everything, is oranges. He calls them satsumes or zoomers because he can't say orange <laughs> um so he calls them satsumas but yeah i just wanted her like baby sister to be wearing something with oranges on when she came home this is from the stacy solomon range in primark and i thought it was perfect for the first time that george met his baby sister so however whenever that is whether he comes into hospital or we like go home like depends on obviously how long like I've got to stay there, baby's got to stay there, whatever. This is what she's going to be wearing when she first meets her big brother. So they're all of her clothes, but in this bag here I have some, I think. Yeah, so I've got muslins. Um, so I've got a big swaddle blanket muslin, which I think is what I'll like wrap her up in um, in hospital. It's exactly what we did with George. And then I've got a couple of other muslin squares as well, just for like spit up and just general stuff. These will be nice and washed and they smell just like proper baby like oh gosh i just love that smell so much so yeah that's the amount of muslins i've got one big swaddle blanket and then two muslin squares and then i also have all of her little hats and stuff so she's got two hats here little white and a cream one and then she's also got a little bow because i couldn't resist i don't know if i'm i might put this on her who knows but it's really tiny and really sweet um but yeah that's everything in terms of clothes like i said four vests 
four baby grows and then a coming home outfit which is just the baby grow with satsumas on um and then one swaddle blanket two little muslin squares and then two hats and a bow i think i'm going to list everything down below in terms of numbers and stuff because i definitely would have found that helpful first time round when i was packing my hospital bag i then also have a nice little cellular blanket for her this is the exact same one that i took to hospital with george it's a really nice quality um like lovely blanket this is from little green sheep or yeah the little green sheep um so yeah absolutely love that and it's really sweet that it's the one that george was all wrapped up in as well so yeah love that cellular blanket at the bottom of this bag i also have all nappies and stuff like that so i've got my pampers new baby nappies which is a pack of 22 a nice compact little size for a hospital bag um and they're in the size of one which is four to eleven pounds which she'll definitely fit into she's not going to be any bigger than 11 pounds <laughs> i hope um but yeah so i've got those in the bottom there and then i've also got here these are just a few little extra nappies that came in the hospital bag um when i got it um but there's also some wipes um these are the eco-friendly natty ones these are the ones that came in the hospital bag as well i know you're recommended to use cotton wool and hot water or warm water but we didn't do that with george and i probably won't be doing it again if i'm totally honest obviously they're like completely scent free they're basically like the water wipes but a different version and then i've also got a load of nappy sacks for either soiled clothes or soiled nappies or whatever um but yeah i just like having nappy sacks around just for dirty things because i don't want it all like touching each other and stuff but yeah that's everything i think oh the last thing is just this little book so when george was born we did him a little card um so when he was born and i was all like emotional i was writing in this card and we're gonna give him that card when he's 18 um i don't have a card for baby girl but i do have this first moments book um so i'm going to write something down a little note for her a little message and then when i'm home i can do a little card for her as well for her to open on her 18th birthday so i've just got this um so that i can write down any like first thoughts or first moments with my daughter which is just mad to say um but yeah i just have something like this i like this kind of stuff it's very sentimental um and it's very sweet so yeah i've just got that so yeah that is everything that i am packing in mine and my baby's hospital bag for baby number two second time round. i can't believe I can't believe that I've made this video and it's like happening definitely within the next like four weeks less than that probably I am really really excited now that this is all done and I feel like I feel prepared like I'm just really really buzzing for the next stage in life but thank you so much for watching this video guys let me know if you think I've forgotten anything or anything that you used in your labor and delivery kind of bags that you think i should be packing or think other people might want to pack obviously i'm basing this off of what happened last time basically if something else happens and it takes a different path then so be it but yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video and i'll see you very soon in the next one bye guys because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby